You know, I don't like whiskey, but I love this whiskey barrel planter. Okay, I admit it. I am an extremely sentimental person, and my grandmother had a whiskey barrel planter just like this on her front deck for as long as I can remember. And some of my favorite memories are with grandma planting things in her whiskey barrel planter. So in honor of her, guess what? I'm getting one for my house. All right, now that I have my whiskey barrel planter, it's time to find the plants. And with this giant selection, I don't know how I'm gonna narrow it down. Everything looks so great. Oh, I think I found my first plant. I love caladium. I love the color and the height, and I think I'm gonna clump some of the pink and the white together. Oh my gosh, I love zinnias. Now this is the perfect mid-scale height to go right up against the caladium, and I've decided I'm gonna put every color in nature in this whiskey barrel planter because I love color so much. In fact, these zinnias, perfection. For the pop of orange, I'm gonna pick marigolds because I love them and it was my grandma's favorite color. And I love Dusty Miller. This is gonna add so much texture. And of course, you can't go wrong with petunias. And I love the pop of purple. And last but not least, sweet potato vine. I'm gonna plant this right along the edge and it's gonna trail over the side of the barrel. First, I'll drill holes in the bottom of the barrel and add pea gravel for proper drainage. Then I'll fill up the barrel with potting soil. For planting, I'm starting in the center and working my way out. The caladium goes in first. Now, before I move on, I like to place the flowers before I plant them. This helps me get the proper spacing and arrangement of the plants. Once I'm happy with the arrangement, it's time to plant. And I've also made sure to leave room on the outer rim for the sweet potato vine. Okay, nothing reminds me more of my grandmother or summertime than sun tea and a whiskey barrel planter. Okay, now I planted this pretty full right now, but just imagine how this is gonna look by the end of the summer. I mean, this is gonna be huge and the sweet potato vines are just gonna be creeping over the edges. It's gonna be gorgeous. So be checking back all summer long because I'll be posting pictures all throughout the summer so you can see the progression. You can plant whatever plants and flowers that you love. Be creative. I chose all annuals because I know me, I like change. Next year, I may decide to plant completely different flowers. You know, some of my most cherished childhood memories are out in the garden planting with my grandmother. And I am so thankful that she instilled in me the love and the importance of gardening. So get out this weekend and plant something. Make some memories. Till next time, I'm Jeremy Rabe, and don't forget, don't just build it right, build it better with Sutherland's. I'll see you there.